Good morning everybody. Welcome back. Welcome to 2021. <clears throat> First video of the year. Hope you had a good holiday. Hope your Christmas is okay. And wish you all a happy new year. Let's hope it's better than 2020. So today is just a, uh, uh, just stretching my legs really. So down there is Washington. And if you watch my South Downs Way video, you'll notice I came down into Washington and we finished our walk there um, because we did essentially one half from Eastbourne to Washington and the other half Winchester back to Washington and finished there because I live uh, very close by. So that made it quite uh, convenient really. So I've come along the bottom of the woods down here and then I've come up the hill and you can see behind me there's um, lovely views and then up there is Chanctonbury Ring. So I'm going to make my way up to the trig point and uh, show you the trig point then we'll make our way across to Chanctonbury Ring and I'm going to stop and have a cup of tea and um, if I can find the right space um, I'm going to do myself a little hot snack for lunch which I shall show you um, I didn't bring you up when I was coming up the hill because one is a very steep hill and I haven't done it for a little while I was very out of breath and um, in Washington it's uh, it was a bit busy with the cars even though it's a small village and it was just too noisy so I gave up so I thought I'd wait till I get to the top and just show you the top okay true point I suppose you should do the obligatory touch the trick point because that's the law. Right, off to Chanterbury Ring. Um, so Chanterbury Ring dates back over 2,000 years ago uh, and essentially is um, it consists of earthen type ramparts with a ditch going around the outside of it and the the woods in the middle. Nobody really knows exactly what it is, uh, or say what it is, what it was used for, um, but I think it was used for a variety of reasons. Um, it was used for cattle, um, it was used for um, defence. <coughs> um, the Romans used it, they actually built a couple of buildings on it. Um, when uh, when they um, they took it, uh, but yeah, but it does go back to the Bronze Age and Iron Age, and you can actually see the North Downs Way on the horizon there. You can see the ridge of the North Downs Way, and at certain parts, the South Downs Way and the North Downs Way are pretty close together. Okay, so three points up there on the top of the hill, and as you can see. There's a ring of trees. In fact, I think it was the 18th century that the landowner that used it for cattle grazing uh, planted a ring of beech trees around the outside um, to essentially beautify the site. Um, but you can see here, this is the ditch, and then up onto the ramparts here. And the bit I'm at the moment, this is the most popular area for wild campers. And no doubt, if I come up here, there's probably evidence of it. Usually is. So that this is one of the flatter parts of it. So it's quite. Oh, hang on. Yeah, now I can see it. Look. Here you go. Some wild campers lighting a fire up. Um, doesn't appear to be any rubbish lying around, which is unusual, <coughs> but nevertheless, um, it does um, destroy the land. Go through and show you uh, the view from the other side. Well, I say side, it's a ring, but the other side. Okay, so walking around the rampart ditch down there and then this is actually the South Downs Way 
and that side goes all the way to Eastbourne. If I pan round there, you can see right the way across the Sussex Weald. Um, over there, here's Upper Beading, and then if you follow that ridge line across, you can see um, sticking out there is Devil's Dyke. So, which all of um, I've done a Devil's Dyke video actually, which you can um, feel free to um, to watch, and I'll try and remember to put a link in the bottom in the description if you want to watch that. But essentially it's a ridge uh, that's nestled on the South Downs way. And there you go, the trees in the middle. Which obviously at the moment, being winter, looks a bit sparse. Okay, so I've come into the middle of the, uh, the ring now. So you can see, it's not particularly big. Now I just need to find somewhere to uh, Stop and have something to uh, to eat, and a cup of tea wouldn't go miss either. So, first things first, let's get the jet ball on. The old trusty jet ball. Don't think I'm going to need that. top and we're going to go on now so spoon in there and then we're ready to go for the water straight down kind of solid base to cook on and this should be all right okay so i'm going to use my sit mat i've got a little lunch box thing here that my wife got me with a mini chopping board so ingredients there a small knife which you've seen before put that on there so I've got a bit of a service to use and then him here I have my tortilla get rid of that I've got my pot stand that which actually goes on here and converts I can turn it out converts the uh, jet ball into a bit more of a conventional stove it just slots in the grooves there so that's ready to rock and roll okay pan on little wooden spoon so I don't scratch the pan Okay, so I did say in a video before that I'd show you some trail food. So this is just a, an idea that you can do on the trail. Um, if you've got a frying pan with you or wood stove or whatever, maybe I should try it on my wood stove. I've tried this one on wood stove. Um, so get your flour tortilla. And then I am just going to You'll see, obviously, it's because I fold it in quarters, it makes it nice and easy. So, I'm just going to cut that like that so it's into just on the one to the center, on just one edge only. And then I need to build my tortilla. I don't know what you call this really, that's the knob of butter. Which I shorten, leave no trace. I want to put that in my pan, and then I've got essentially four ingredients because there's four quarters. So I'm thinking you might guess actually. I've got some ham here, so we are going to put ham on one section like that. I've got some of my Christmas cheese that needs using up, so I'm just going to trim that off. Trim that off. 
Turn that off, edge off. Take that rubbish home with me. And I'm going to, to slice a bit of cheese up. That's going to go on that section there. Just that back up. This is dead easy. This is. You can do this. You can make this. You know, do this with whatever you want. Make the fillings up as you go along. Uh, tomato. So actually, I think I'm going to cut it in half because I'm probably not going to need the whole tomato. So I'm going to put half back. And I think my knife might be need sharpening. Need to do that when I get home. So there you go. We'll put that in another quarter. And then a little bit of lettuce in the final quarter. So then the tricky bit is the folding and try not to get yourself in uh, some uh, awful mess. Oh, no, actually, I've just realized. Bit of mayonnaise. Can't be a bit of mayonnaise. And in here is my mayonnaise on my fingers, seasoning pot, so a bit of salt on the tomato. Okay, so then we got the folding process, so fold that one in half over to there, keeping all the ingredients in, and then that one as well, and then folding it that way into a complete pocket like so and there's your wrap okay so we light the stove get the novel butter going melting already just get that melted nicely okay so I've melted the butter Put my tortilla in, and a wrap. Oh. Gas is a tad high. What I want to do is make sure that it's warmed through and it's crispy. So, the only thing with jet balls is that jet balls the gas can be concentrated into one area. So they're not maybe the greatest of stoves for um, for cooking. It's all right for bacon, but for something like this, it's maybe, uh, there probably are better stoves that have got a, a broader flame than a jet ball. it over, not sure it's alright on the other side, if I can get underneath of it. Okay so there you go, I've turned it over, done both sides, and that pretty much is about it. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to put that on. Take the uh, let's take the, the ring off. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to get that going for the hot chocolate. Okay. The proof is in the pudding. Yeah, nice. Wish you on a cold chilly day. Ham, cheese, tomato, lettuce, bit of mayonnaise, bit of salt, but you can add whatever ingredients you want to add. Fold it up into quarters, fry in a little bit of butter. I probably had a bit too much butter if I'm honest. Um, 
but that's because obviously when I was bringing it out with me I didn't want to have you, what you don't want to do is to uh, to run out of ingredients but yeah lovely mm. and now my uh, my water's just spoiled from a hot chocolate so I'll be back in a minute so hot chocolate's made Nice warm tortilla. Brad is sitting indoors watching the telly. And for some reason, it's gone very quiet. Um, everybody seems to have disappeared. I can hear a few voices in the background, but not so many. So, yeah, quite nice. So, cheers. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. If you like it, um, Put any comments in below if you've got any other ideas for food that um, you could be using on the trail. Um, but I do like wraps as a trail, they're good food for lunches. In the summer you can fill them with the cold ingredients, but in the winter, equally, if you bring a lightweight pan along with you, you can um, uh, make some hot, um, um, some uh, you know, a nice hot wrap. But um, if you've got any ideas of um, what to put in a wrap or uh, something maybe that you do similar or something different then please put in the comments below and um, I hope that's useful and helpful and uh, yeah cheers thank you very much and uh, I'll see you in a minute on the way uh, on the way back down to Washington cheers mm. Mm. hi okay so all packed up <clears throat> after my uh, cheese and ham tortilla and my hot chocolate as promised I've just come through to the the other side and I'll just turn you around and there you go final view before heading back <clears throat> local uh, wildlife grazing not really particularly interested in me <coughs> so we are going to go down through here so there's a gate there you can see in front of us okay so through the gate <coughs> and down we go a tinge of sadness you know as I said in my sad and sad news and challenging times video a few weeks ago um, my dog honey who uh, is an avid walker and goes on all our walks hikes whether it's woods forests mountains um, is, uh, is poorly and um, unfortunately is no longer going to be able to come out with me anymore and this route I'm doing here through these woods is a particular favourite of hers and um, quite often on a Sunday morning if there's nothing going on and we're not doing too much then myself and my brother-in-law we bring our dogs and walk this track along here and then up to Chanterbury and before we go a bit further and make it a bit of a longer loop and then come back on the south and go up to Chanterbury but yeah it's uh, it's uh, a little strange feeling walking through here without her to be honest OK, 
Okay, so <clears throat> come down from up there and now navigate my way through this utter mess. So I'm not going to put the camera on for that. And then across the field and out onto the road and then just walk down to Washington and I'll, uh, I'll bring you back then and um, we're nearly done for the day. Right, let's try and get through this without uh, getting myself in a terrible state. Well, actually, in fairness, I think it's worse going up than it is going down. It wasn't too bad at all. Mm, nice look. Uh, bit of boot cleaning required when I get home. Okay, so that's it. At the Franklin Arms, obviously not going in for a pie because it's closed. Um, that's where I started today. You saw the route down, I just went pretty much, you know, up to Chandler Room and back down again for a bit of a uh, practice hike. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the first video of 2021. And um, thank you very much for your support. Please like and subscribe if you fancy it. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. Any comments gratefully received, please put in the comments below. Um, and I shall see you hopefully very soon on the next one. So uh, thank you very much. Take care. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.